Welcome back everyone my name is Abdullah Ghori and in this video we will talk about Flexbox. In this video I will show you what is Flexbox and why we use Flexbox. Now first of all let's understand what Flexbox is. Flexbox is a structure or layout which makes it easier to design flexible and responsive layouts for your website. In this video we will cover everything about the Flexbox layout. Now first of all I will go and open up the introduction to CSS folder and here I will right click and open up this folder with VS Code and here I will go and create a new file and I will call this file as flexbox.html for the CSS I will click on the CSS folder and click on new file and I will create flexbox.css file in which we will write our CSS of our flexbox. I will click on this split icon or you can press control and backslash it will split your window in two parts. So here we can write the HTML code and here we can write the CSS code. I will add an exclamation mark and hit enter we will get the basic HTML code. First of all I want to change the title of our web page and I want to make it flexbox and I will go here in the folder I will open up flexbox.html file and you can see we got the flexbox as title so it is working. Now I want to link our flexbox.css file with our flexbox.html file so I will say link and here if you hit enter you will get the basic code after that I will say that go in the CSS folder and there you will find flexbox.css file and link that file with our HTML file. I will go here and put a body tag and apply a background color and we will go back here and see whether this is working or not here you can see the background color is applied it means this is working perfectly I will remove this background color because this is only for test now here let's talk about flexbox now first of all see why we are using flexbox flexbox is a layout flexbox makes it easier to design a flexible and responsive layout for your website. You can design a beautiful and responsive layout of your website by using Flexbox with very easy steps. Now first of all let's understand the basics of Flexbox. You will find it very helpful and in the upcoming videos we will create our website projects and we will use Flexbox a lot. So make sure to understand the concept of the Flexbox layout carefully so you will not get stuck in the upcoming videos. Now let's say you want to create a div and you want to apply a class called flexbox. We can call this anything but to be more specific we want to call it flexbox. So we will say flexbox. So there is a short form to do that. You can say dot flexbox and if you hit enter you will get a div tag plus a class which you provide with the dot operator. So this is your Emmet will help you to write the code very fast. Now here I want to create a class which is flexbox and inside the class I want to create some items. So I will say item and I will hit enter you can see it create an item for us. So after that I want to create 8 items in this class. I will copy and paste it one time 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now what I want more, I want to copy this one and if I select this one you can see all these are selected. If you press Control F2 you will get the cursor on all the 8 lines whatever you have selected and after that I want to give another item class okay and here I want to give the specific classes. So this will be our general item class and after that they will also have item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, item 6 item 7 item 8 this is what we get now we have created a class here which is flexbox we have created 8 items here and the class name is item and we have item 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now I want to write the text as item 1 2 3 4 5 as well so here I will select them again I will press ctrl f2 
I will go here I will copy item 1 2 3 4 5 all these I will go inside the HTML div tag and I will paste this here if I save it if I go back in the browser and refresh it you can see we only got item 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but we want to create a flexbox layout now we will see the magic here the first thing that we want we want to give a color to our items so I will say that item because this is the general class so whatever I will apply here it will apply it on all the eight items so I want to give them a background color so in this case I want to give a background color as blue violet because as you know this is my favorite color as well so you can see we got all the items here I want to give the color as white if I save and go back you can see we got the color as white so we have learned the margin and padding in the previous class so if I apply the margin as 10 pixel you can see we are getting the margin as well all around the item now I don't want the margin here I want to increase the font size a little bit I want to say font size should be 2 rem it means 32 pixels 1 rem is equal to 16 pixels okay now this is the layout that we got now by using float what you can do you can say float left they will all in one side so they are floating to left side okay you can either say float right they will be on the right hand side okay but this is not a responsive layout if we want to create a responsive layout I will delete this float I will go back here I will target my flexbox class I will open up this I will say I want to make this layout the flexbox whatever we have inside this flexbox class I want to make the layout of that class as flex so I will say in display flex if you only do this line if you refresh it you will get this thing it is similar to float left but it is not actually float left so what are the properties that we have first of all let's understand the justification or the alignment now here what I want I want to apply a background color so I want to make it tomato you can see this is only background color that we are getting now let's talk about the justify content property of flexbox you can use justify content to align your item horizontally so you can say justify content if you say center your content or your item will be in the center if you say justify content flex and your content or the item will be at the end of the flex box if you say flex start they will be by default at the start after that we have other values like space around they will get the space around there and you can see if I zoom it in if I zoom out they are automatically adjusting the width this is the power of flexbox and now let's try to understand what is space around value space around means it will get the space here on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side so till this point this is the space of item 1 and after this one this is the space of item 2 this is the space of item 2 here for the right side and this is the space of item 2 for the left hand side now we have justify content space evenly as well so they will get even space on the left side on the right side we have space between so they will get the space in between not on the left and right side of the first and last item okay now these are the justify content property which is used to justify or align your content or you set your content horizontally but what if you want to align them vertically for that you can use another property which is align items so if I say align item here and if I want to make it center if I refresh it you will not see any effect but why actually see the height of our flex box is only the height that we are getting here now how they can align right here for that we have to change the height of our flex box and we want to make it 100 VH if I refresh it now you can see they got in the middle so after that you can say align item flex start or flex and flex and mean they will be at the bottom flex start means they will be at the top okay 
so I want to make it 8 center okay after that now let's try to understand other thing these properties you can apply where you are making your flexbox container so this is actual a container and these are the boxes or the items which are inside that container so justify content and align item will be applied there now we have some other properties like let's say I say item 1 okay now you can say align self and you can say flex n if I say align send flex n you can see your item 1 is got at the end so you can align each and individual items as well so this is how you can align your individual items so you can say item 5 should be so I will say align start so it will be at the top so that's how you can align your individual item vertically okay now let's say we want to give different amount of spacing to each and individual element for that you can specify the flex that they will reserve now here if I go here if I say flex 1 it means give the equal spacing to all the element because item is applying to all of the items so if I go back and refresh it you can see let me remove these properties so you can see they all are getting the same amount of spacing let me apply a border here so you can see more clearly so I will say border 2 pixel sorry 2 pixel tomato and solid tomato so you can see we are getting 2 pixel border they all are getting the same space what if you want to give them different amount of spaces for that you can target individual class that's why I put item 1 2 3 so we can target the element individually as well so this is the good trick that you have an item journal class in which you specify the journal properties of all the items and you have another class in which you specify the individual property to the items now here I want that flex 1 should reserve the space which is equivalent to the three items so I can say flex 3 if I say flex 3 if I go back here you can see this item now will reserve the space of three items if you measure the space of these three items you will see this is equivalent to this space let me zoom out it little bit you can even change the flex space of item 5 you can say flex and you can put here 5 so this is reserving the space for three items this is reserving the space of five items so that's how you can change them now after that here you can change the order of this one now we are creating our layout in row wise so we can also change the order here you can say flex direction is column if you say flex direction column your direction of the flex box will be in a column okay after that you can remove these two properties here if I go back and refresh it you can see the layout become in column another thing is that you can also reverse the order so if you say flex direction column reverse the order will be reversed so item 8 the last item will be at the top and the first item will be at the bottom the same thing you can do with the row so if you say by default the direction of the flex box is row so if I go back you can see this is the layout that we are getting now if you say row reverse your row order will be reverse okay and after that you can apply justify content center align item center you can see this is what we are getting okay so the row order is reverse so we are getting items 8 item 7 item 6 and so on and so forth that's how you can create different types of layout using flexbox flexbox is really responsive and it makes easier to design flexible and responsive layout for your web pages now after that if you want to say height 100 percent you can see the height of one element become 100 percent it means it will reserve the full parent height you may wonder why we are getting this scroll when we only have the 100 view height because of this border so if I remove this border we will not get this scroll now let's design a quick and simple menu layout with the help of flexbox so I will keep this flexbox class I will remove these items I will change the name of this class I will say I want to call it navbar in the navbar we have two things so if I save this and go back you can see there is nothing so what we want we want to create a navbar so navbar will be here on the left hand side we will have logo and on the right hand side we have menu buttons 
so for that we can create a navbar inside the navbar we can create a class called logo okay and in the logo we can type our text and for now we want to say the website title is alpha technology after that logo we want to create a class called menu in the menu we will have the items so we will say menu dash item okay and let me name these item so i want to create five items so i will say home about reviews portfolio and content if i save go back in the browser you will see this is the only thing that we are getting but now we will do the magic with the help of css so first of all i want to target our navbar class so i will say navbar dot navbar the first thing that i want to apply a background color here the background color i want to make blue violet okay after that i want to give a height here so height i want to give 10 view height to our navbar okay and the next thing i want to make it flex box this is the magical thing that we have i will say display flex i will go down i will target our no logo i will say logo font size of the logo will be 1.5 frame i will say the color of the logo will be white i will go back and see this is what we got i want to make this logo class also a flex box now what will happen through flex box i can say align item center so it become in the center okay i want to give a bit of padding to it so i will say top bottom 0 pixel from the left right give 20 pixel i will save this you will see this is what we got after that i want to say dot menu class so i will target our menu class i want to make it display flex as well so if i say display flex they will be like here i will say align item center so they will be in the center i want to change the color as white so the color will be white i want to change the font size as 1.1 rem so it will be bit bigger i want to make them justify content space around so they will be separated now you can see this space around is not working now what we have to do we have to say flex one here or uh, we want to give the flex two here and the remaining flex i want to assign to the menu so i will say flex 3 or flex 4 so now you can see they all got separated the size of two flex is reserved by the alpha technology logo or the title and the size of four flex is reserved by this one now i want to target the menu item so i will say dot menu item and i want to put this color here and the font size here now you may wonder how i am doing this you can hold the alt key and you can press any up or down key so your property will be copied to the next line okay after that if i save and go back you can see this is the effect that we are getting i want to make the cursor as pointer when i hover on any element you can see this become hover okay now we can also do something more you can say dot menu item and when we hover on this the color of the item should be changed to tomato and you can see when i hover on this the color of the text will be changed okay so you can see this is how our flex box become responsive so we have created a responsive menu bar with the help of flex box okay so that's all from this video hope you enjoy this video if you like this video hit the like button if you have any question or suggestion you can comment down below do share this video with your friend so they can learn as well make sure to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so you get notification whenever we upload any new video to our channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video